So two classes in each of 32 schools, that's a total of 64 classes, but we only have 37 teachers. So some of the teachers will have to teach more than one class. Uh, now, apparently some will teach three classes, exactly N teachers will teach three classes each. And our job is to figure out what is the smallest and largest possible value for N. In other words, how many teachers could teach three classes, given that each teacher teaches at least one class and each class is taught by exactly one teacher. So we want to think about extremes here. If we try to maximize n, right? We want to give we want to give as many teachers as possible three classes. That would mean that we'd have to give as few teachers as possible two classes. If everyone gets at least one class, but we want as few teachers to get two classes so that as many as possible can get three classes. Well, we are starting with 37 teachers getting exactly one class. So those 37 classes are already spoken for and we have 64 minus 37 is 27. So we have 27 classes left to distribute among the 37 teachers. If we don't want to give any of the teachers just a second class, we want to give as many as possible a second and a third class. So two classes each for the remaining teachers. Well, there are 37 teachers, so that's plenty, but there are only 27 classes remaining. Unfortunately, 27 is an odd number, so we can't give them in a two for you, two for you, two for you, two for you kind of scenario. Uh, there would be one remainder. So one teacher will get two classes in this extreme scenario, but the other 13 teachers will get an extra two classes each. So 27 divided by two is 13 remainder one. So in this extreme scenario, we have 37 teachers of whom 13 have three classes. One has two classes and the rest have one class. So the maximum possible value for n here would be 13. Oh wait, I just looked at the answer choices and there's only one answer choice that has a maximum of 13 teachers for n. So we're done. The correct answer is a. Just for our purposes, let's solve this all the way, right? So the other extreme scenario is where as many teachers as possible get two classes so that as few teachers as possible would get three classes. Is it possible to uh, take the remaining 27 classes and just give them one each to uh, the 37 teachers? Yeah, absolutely. So you'd have 37 teachers that get one class each, that's spoken for. The remaining 27 classes, you give those one each to 27 teachers and the remaining 10 teachers only have one class. So in that scenario, nobody gets three classes and the value of n there would be zero. So again, we see uh, the correct answer here is a. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.